Hi Pisces, welcome back. Sorry about the interruption from the first part of this video. Uh, it appears my computer and I had a little bit of a disagreement. So as I was saying, in the third week of the month we have the star card followed by the four of pentacles. And the star card represents uh, faith, hope. I often see this card come up in a reading for people um, after they've been through some kind of difficult and challenging um, uh, or painful, even cataclysmic uh, events or process in their life. And this speaks of the wheel being on the upswing again in a positive direction. It talks about um, about having faith that uh, things are beginning to get better and uh, having hope in that promise. Um, it shows a woman who is without reserve and in complete faith pouring out her pitchers into the water because she knows they will be replenished because the source is limitless. This is also a card that speaks of being in a place in your life where you're in full and complete acceptance of yourself, of who you are, of where you are, and of uh, where you are in your life path on your journey. Now, it's paired with the Four of Pentacles. Pentacles being, uh, again, an earth sign, um, representing things in our tangible world, money, finances, resources, property. The four, of, the four of Pentacles is, sometimes I've heard it referred to as the miser card. It is a card of, um, of holding on very tightly. As you can see, this gentleman is holding all four of his big, beautiful pentacles in his arms. Um, and he doesn't want to let go. He's holding them on very tightly. This can also represent um, a time period where finances are or have been uh, quite tight. And for some of you, this may resonate uh, in the sense that you've gone through some financial hardship or perhaps, um, you know, we're just coming out of a big spending holiday season and um, um, you're perhaps wanting to watch your money and you're spending a little more carefully. But what I'm actually reading first and foremost off this combination of cards, Pisces, somewhere, somewhere in the last half of the month is more of an internal struggle about self-acceptance or perhaps where you are uh, the star card is a card that represents um, being in a place of full acceptance with, with who you are and feeling a sense of peace and serenity with who you are, with what you are, with where you are, with what you're doing in your life. And the four of pentacles, um, the, underlying, the underlying theme to this card and a secondary definition is, is being in a place where you're not sure about who you are, where you struggle with self-acceptance and perhaps just where you are in your life and who you are. Um, and it's interesting too, uh, you know, this is, this reading is for January 2016, the first month of the new year, and perhaps you're in a process that a lot of people go through at the end of a year, the beginning of the next year, where they're kind of reassessing um, the previous year and looking at the coming year and wondering if there's changes they want to make to their life. And I get, I get the sense that somewhere in the last half of the month, and kind of as a theme throughout the month, that there's some kind of struggle that you're perhaps going back and forth with. Maybe there's something you don't want to do anymore or you're feeling um, like you just want to want to be more carefree in what you're doing. There may be some kind of new beginning or new life path that you want to start. You're still working hard. You're still having new ideas. Um, it looks like it looks like something actually comes to you, a new idea or a gift of resources to begin something new or to work at something that's actually going to pay off for you. But it looks like there's, there's still some kind of internal struggle, uh, again, with... Um, who you are, who you see yourself as, and I'm not sure how that relates to you, but I, I kind of get the feeling that this is this is going to be for a large portion of the Pisces that are watching this. There's some kind of it feels almost like a yo-yoing back and forth between I don't care, I do care, um, I'm trying to be responsible, I don't want to be responsible, I'm happy with where I'm at, I'm not happy with where I'm at. Um, I kind of get the sense that there's a feeling of maybe wanting to make some changes, uh, maybe making the new year uh, look a little different than the previous year and what you're doing, um, some, something in your the, the way that you're looking at something. And it might be connected to a career. Um, I'm not sure because we did have that pairing of pentacles, and this also is the third pentacles card that you have. Pentacles and swords in this suit. So maybe it's about um, the feeling I'm getting right now is just, it's just yo-yoing thought patterns and circular thinking, perhaps, just about where you are in life, what you're doing with your life, um, and, and, and if it's something that you still enjoy or something that's paying off for you, or will it pay off for you? Perhaps it's something new that you're beginning that you 
are having a lot of internal self-doubt about, yes, I can do this. I have faith in myself. No, I'm not sure I can do this. I, I, I feel like I need to hang on tightly to what I have. So that's interesting. Yeah, I just get kind of a sense of an internal going back and forth this month. And the last week of the month, we have another major arcana card, the judgment card, followed by the two of swords. Now, I see these both as pretty major uh, decision-making cards. Judgment, I see uh, come up in a reading for people when they're considering making a decision that's going to be a very a very big decision, a very, a, a, an almost, if not a life-changing, life-altering decision. And judgment um, underscores the seriousness of the decision. The judgment card speaks to making a decision that once it's made, it's pretty much irrevocable. You can't go back from it. It's going to have a major and lasting impact on your life or on whatever it is that you're making a decision about. It's a call to make a decision. It's a call to action. But it's a very, it, 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 there's a seriousness to this card and a seriousness to the consequences and the outcome of the decisions that you're making or the decisions that you're thinking about making. And again, I'm getting this feeling of kind of going back and forth about some kind of change. And the judgment card says that it's, it's some kind of major change and um, to think very carefully about it because once you make it, it will set something in motion that you won't be able to reverse. So... And I'm kind of getting to going back to that initial seven of swords and the fool card about being kind of a little too careless, maybe not not putting as much thought into something as you need to. Uh, this card is is saying, don't do that. This card, the judgment card, is saying, think very carefully before you make a decision because um, it's going to be final and it's going to be um, quite profound in your life. Now, it's paired with the two of swords, which is another... Uh, uh, decision, choice-making card. Swords, I think, believe I said before, swords, the element is air, and, it, and swords is a suit that represent our thoughts, our ideas, our ways of thinking, our reasoning, our logic. And the two of swords speaks of uh, needing to make a decision, but n being in a place where you feel unsure, um, you're stuck, perhaps you don't really want to make the decision. There's a blindfold on this uh, woman's eyes. There's a blindfold on your eyes. You're just not sure which path to take. And again, I'm kind of getting the feeling of going back and forth about, about, about something. Perhaps it's a career path or something that you're doing to make money or a new entrepreneurial sort of thing that you're starting um, that you're unsure about. But the Two of Swords speaks of being in a confused, stuck place of uh, not knowing what decision to make and, and often not wanting to make a decision but feeling propelled to make the de a decision. And paired with a judgment card, it's... It's asking you to, to be thoughtful about the decision you make, to consider every single thing, to not be uh, the fool in this particular situation, that you need to be, uh, you need to be more prepared and put, put planning into this and consider everything. Read all the fine print before you make a final decision because it will be final and it will be profound. So that's kind of dramatic, <laughs> Pisces. Um, and I think, too, sometimes that uh, uh, stereotypical Pisces being um, kind of the dreamers of the zodiac, as I see you, and sometimes rather easily distracted. I kind of see you sometimes as a fish darting here and darting there. Um, big life-changing decisions can be often sometimes a little frightening or overwhelming uh, for people with the conventional stereo stereotype uh, character traits of the Pisces because... Um, especially with a reading like this, because of it's the, the very seriousness of it, um, the judgment card speaking to this decision being profound, having a deep impact and effect on your life. Um, but I think the, under, the underlying advice is to just be thoughtful about how you go about doing it. Now, as the overall general feeling theme of the month and advice, we have the last major arcana card, we have the chariot card which speaks, um, this is also another card that I see come up in decision-making threads. The chariot, uh, the underlying feeling of the chariot being that of speed to and of power. And the chariot speaks of harnessing a variety of different things, pulling them together and, and creating uh, energy and force to propel you forward. Um, the person in this chariot has harnessed not only the chariot, the wheels of the chariot, the two sphinxes, um, 
and is moving forward. The chariot is a very powerful major arcana card. It speaks of, of powerful movement, of fast movement. Um, I, and again, I'm getting a sense, uh, especially since uh, from the judgment card that this you're kind of going back and forth between something, uh, some decision, some change of venue, something, something that you're doing maybe that you have doubts about or doubts about yourself in the situation. Um, and that, that, that this is a big deal. And um, the chariot card is also speaking the underlying advice, meaning being to have determination, that this is going to take strength and determination and sheer grit and a very strong will to stand by whatever decision you make. Whatever decision that you end up making at the end of the month, or I feel maybe more in February, um, consider it thoughtfully. But when you do, uh, do it 100%. Um, this card speaks of, of having strength and determination to stand by a decision and once you've made that decision to go for it, uh, speed and power. So that's a very, very fascinating read, reading for you for January 2016 Pisces. I'm just looking over it and as I've been reading from it, I get a very kind of big, strong, powerful feeling from this. Um, Kind of a sense of, of kind of yo-yoing back and forth between one thing and another. It's not entirely clear to me what this is. Um, it might be something related to, like I said, your job, your career, a new business you're starting, um, something that's kind of got you going back and forth. Um, but the strongest piece of advice in this is to be thoughtful about it. Don't be the fool about this. Be thoughtful. Consider everything. Um, Think about it, maybe talk it over with somebody who has more experience in it than you do or that someone that you go to to seek advice from and make as well-informed and balanced a decision as possible because it looks like it's going to have a very profound um, and lasting effect on your life. And once you put things into motion to stand by them because you won't be able to undo them. So that's, um, that's very interesting and, and very dramatic. So... I'm quite curious to see how this plays out for you uh, next month in February, and I'm quite curious to see what this actually is uh, for those of you for whom it resonates with. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Pisces. I hope that it's provided you with some clarity and some insight. If it hasn't resonated for you, I suggest you also check your rising and your moon sign as well. Um, if you care to have an extension of this reading or uh, have a private consultation with me, uh, please, you can hit the... Uh, press the about button on my YouTube channel's homepage and it will give you more information, more details about myself, the services I offer, and my contact information, which is maggie1mcguire at gmail.com. That's maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful beginning to your new year. It looks like it's going to be um, a rather interesting and, and with the potential for some dramatic changes either at the end of this month or next month. So I hope that uh, I hope that the path goes well for you. And as always, I wish you joy, peace, and a happy life.